Hi Taurus, this is Wendy from Wendy's Tarot. Welcome to my channel. In this video, I'm going to be asking the cards, what awaits for you in love for the week of September 23rd to September 29th, 2024? I'm going to take a look at your energy, Taurus, and then I'll see the energy of your person, whoever it is that you are connecting to and dealing with in love. Also, I wanted to say if this reading resonates for you, I will put a link below the video in the description box below that will take you to the extended reading if you are interested. Keep in mind, roles can be reversed sometimes in these readings. All right, let's see what's going on. Spirit angels and guys, please show me the energy of Taurus in regards to love for this week, please. Let's get one more shuffle for Taurus. Okay, what's the energy of Taurus in regards to love for this week? All right, Taurus, first card we have here for you is the Eight of Cups in the reverse. We also have the Ten of Wands. Tell me more, Spirit. We also have the Chariot with the Star, with the Sun, Five of Pentacles, and Temperance in reverse here. All right, what's going on here? Temperance in reverse to the Six of Wands and the Ace of Pentacles. All right, why do I feel like I'm not getting your energy? So with the Eight of Cups in Reverse Taurus, someone's definitely returning back to you here. It's interesting. We do have the Star and the Sun. Hold on. Temperance in Reverse, Six of Wands, Ace of Pentacles. You're headed towards something better, Taurus than whatever it is that you're leaving behind. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, um, you're, you're headed towards something better than what you're leaving behind, is what I'm strongly getting, very strongly. Whatever you're leaving behind, um, it was very, it was very chaotic. Um, it was very unstable. <clears throat> Sorry, it was very unstable. Um, it really kind of damaged your your self confidence, your self esteem, your sense of self worth. Uh, with the with the strength card in reverse here, um, it really affected you in in a really in a really negative way. You felt like you weren't good enough. You felt like you were um, lacking. You felt like you were less than. Um, it just kind of looks like you dealt with a very manipulative person. You were dealing with a very manipulative person. I'm also getting like a gaslighting energy. I feel like this person really gaslighted you a lot, heavily. And they just basically they they get sorry they got you off balance. They got you off balance. Off balance with, with yourself, you know, with you, um, with your own identity. Off balance with your your soul, your spirit. Your self-love. But I feel I do feel like that's over now. I feel like that's over. I feel like you're doing better now. Um, now that you walked away. Um, you left this, this relationship. 
this unhealthy relationship, you left it behind you. You walked away from it. And I do feel like as soon as you walked away, you immediately felt um, an, imp an improvement in your energy. It was like uh, in an instant um, effect. You instantly felt better. You instantly felt more um, calmer, more secure, more safe, more stable, more at peace. Yeah, uh, six of wands can represent that, you know, um, the things that you wanted to accomplish in your life, your goals, you kind of put it in the back burner while you were dealing with this person. Um, they were kind of draining you of your energy and of your motivation. And now that the, now that you walked away i feel like you you're more motivated now you feel more inspired to to do the things that make you happy to pursue the the things that you want to accomplish and you're just overall your energy is just much much more elevated this person was draining you and and bringing you down So with the Knight of Pentacles and the Ace of Pentacles, um, this can represent you uh, pursuing a new job, um, a new career, a new business, or creating a new business. Or this can represent you um, wanting to study something, wanting to train in something or learn something new. Just you, this is just you focusing on yourself and nurturing yourself and um, thinking about the things that make you happy. And as you're doing this, it kind of looks like you're attracting, you're attracting somebody really, really good into your life with the sun and the star card and the chariot. Um, you're attracting a, a soulmate that is going to bring a lot of happiness into your life and bring a lot of um, security and stability into your life and emotional fulfillment. This is completely um, a different person from the one you left behind. Yeah, this is someone who is never going to take advantage of you or abuse you or um, make you feel like you're not good enough. This is someone who's going to see your worth and your value and they're going to appreciate you and they're going to respect you, you know, and they're going to protect you and they're going to they're going to like nurture a healthy relationship with you, a serious relationship with you. This is someone who wants commitment in their life. They're all about commitment and loyalty. So this is what you're attracting into your life. Okay. Um, let me go ahead and move on to see who comes up in the, in the other side of the reading. Uh, looking at your person's energy for the week. just don't know if I want to use this deck yeah I think so all right let me keep this one all right spirit um what can you tell me about the energy of the person Taurus is connecting to and dealing with in love for this week please what is this person's energy towards Taurus for this week
All right, here we go. Looking at your person's energy towards you. Yeah, Four of Wands. We also have the Queen of Cups. And we have the world at the bottom of the deck. Five of Swords to the Three of Swords to the Lovers. And also the Five of Cups. Hmm. Who's this Queen of Cups? Is that you? Queen of Cups, Four of Wands, Five of Swords in Reverse, Three of Swords. So this person had somebody else in the picture, um, is what I'm noticing, the person that you were dealing with. Um, there was definitely somebody else in the picture. Yeah, there was another relationship that this person was a part of. Um, separate from you, Taurus. Five of Cups to the Four of Cups in reverse to the Ten of Pentacles and the Eight of Pentacles. Mm -hmm. <coughs> Sorry. Why am I getting Eight of Cups in reverse though? Because I just feel like this past person is going to return back to you with that Eight of Cups in Reverse. Tell me about the Eight of Cups in Reverse, Spirit, please. High Priestess, Two of Wands, King of Pentacles in the Reverse. Okay. It's weird because I feel like this person is returning back, but I'm not getting their energy too strongly. So I don't really know why that is. I mean, did you block this person? Some of you might have blocked this person is what I'm getting. Or you, like you changed your number. You changed your number. You changed your address. You d you deleted them. That's a rooster, by the way. I'm in my mother's house. She has roosters. Or I mean, roosters are around. All right, because the storyline I'm getting here is more about them and this other person, this other relationship um, that's in their life. They're still actively in this other relationship. It's a very on and off relationship that they have with this other person. But they are actively together with them. It, it just feels like the energy of them returning back to you, trying to reach out to you, but for some reason they can't get a hold of you. So, again, I don't know if you blocked them or you deleted them or you're just not, you're not responding to their messages. Because I feel like you're very, um, you're very focused on something else. Um, this person, like I said, really drained you and really... Um, depleted you of your life force and you're you're focused on uh recovering yourself and taking back your power is what i'm noticing in your energy okay all right, Toy, so I'm going to stop the reading here and I'm going to now continue in the extended reading. In the extended reading, I will be taking a deeper look at your person. I'm going to see what exactly are their true and real feelings for you. What are their true and real intentions with you for this week? What actions will they take towards you moving forward? And what will the overall outcome be for this relationship? If you're interested, you can follow me there with the link below the video in the description box below. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate it. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye, guys. Take care.